We're gonna get our butter nice and melted so we can brush it on top, create a nice golden crispy top to that biscuit. Listen, I hear it, it's sizzling. Turn it down if it's sizzling too much. Now, why did this crazy fool just pull a bunch of cold stuff out of the freezer? The key to these biscuits, folks, is cold. Cold butter, cold self-rising flour, cold pastry cutter, cold everything except for the pan, which we got in the oven at 425 right now. We want that hot. So the key to coldness is these cold chunks of butter hit that hot stove, the steam starts to rise, starts to pop, and you get a really buttery, flaky biscuit. We don't want a dense, crumbly biscuit for this. So we want to cut the flour here, cut the butter into the flour. Once we got pea-sized pieces, literally the size of a pea, we're gonna get in the fridge and grab our, once again, cold, cold buttermilk, right? If there's anything warm being thrown into this, it's just gonna make the butter melt. It's not gonna be as good as a biscuit, and my mother-in-law will probably come visit you, knock on your door, and teach you a lesson or two, right? I start with about two cups and go from there. We don't want to oversaturate the biscuit. We just want it to be nice and incorporated, not too saucy, but pliable. So mix it. Do not overwork the biscuit, right? We're not making bread here. We don't have to knead this for 38 hours and wake up sore. Next, if you need a little bench flour, grab some. Just like, uh, you know, baseball players of your little sidearm on that. Little sidearm, love it. You can turn it out on your cutting board, start working it with your hands. Just gotta kinda pat it down about an inch high. Anything less, you're gonna have a flat biscuit that you cannot split with the fork, and you can't create two beautiful pieces of biscuit that we're gonna use for our bun. Let's make it beautiful. All right, I'm hearing my butter, it's starting to bubble. We'll take it off the heat, let the residual heat in that pan keep it melted. Grab our hot pan out of the oven here. Now we're gonna keep this hot, let it preheat in the oven, pour a little oil on it. We want that bottom of our biscuit to be crispy, to have some integrity to it. We're brushing butter on the top, we're gonna get the crisp from that. Bottom, crisp. Using our trusty biscuit cutter, we're gonna cut even sized biscuits. My mother-in-law's biscuit cutter is old as her cast iron pan, which Legend has it, it's about 40 something years old. The beauty of these pans is the more you use it, the better it gets. It ages like fine wine, or myself, because you should have seen me when I was 22. I was gross. Look at me now, huh, ma? So we're gonna get about nine out of these. Anything left over, and you can always throw in the fridge for later and make shortcake with it. All right, we got our melted butter. You gotta make sure you get that top nice and golden and crispy, otherwise it'll be a little too light and not crunchy. Just brush the top, this beautiful painting. Oh, look at it. Don't worry, get on the sides a little bit. I can hear it sizzling, that means that bottom's getting crusty. Wonderful, back in the oven, 425, 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, lovely, look at that. It's crispy on the outside, steamy, soft in the middle. 